What's up? What's up? Got another Casty Cast. Little Casty Cast. Doing some more Hydra and White and Black. So let's get it. Uh, I'm doing a uh, turn versus Zerg. Because it's a little different. Oh no, is this turn versus Protoss? Maybe I misspoke. Turn that. Get some volume up here. Yeah, so we got Protoss. Uh, white and black is aka gold s if he's the protoss and he looks like he's going to be doing a mid build and then we got a mech build that's going to come from hydra here so we'll see how this works out i think his scouting is going to be he's probably going to go here build the gate might go here um and then he might send his first zot up here so we'll see Either Hydra will get lucky or not, but he's he's lucky in this sense that he's a corner base and he um, uh, this mid build's pretty pretty far in the middle. So he so go that's if you go into two gateways mid build. Sometimes you go for just one gateway scout and then you get two more gateways and then the zealot that comes out it's a little bit earlier compared to having two zealots it's a little bit delayed. Here comes the barracks. He's got his gas going. So, yeah, so he scouted here. Kind of like I said. And he's, it looks like he's scouting just the chokes because he thinks he's up, either up against a Zerg. Yeah, I don't know why, why he just scouted the choke there. Maybe he would. He thinks he, he would have saw Marines or something. I'm not sure. This guy's gonna probably go scout right here. And he might use this probe. Oh no. Uh, I, okay. Yeah, so he might use that probe so, to build cannons. I think these are gonna get really down here though. Yeah. Unfortunate for gold SCV here, but it's tough to hold a mid build with the mech build. I mean, you gotta, you gotta be good at it. Hydra's only playing at 130 APM. Kind of chilling, not really spamming. Here's the the probe dope with the pylon. Here comes two zillots. Gonna try to make them run away. Ooh, might snipe that. Saved his marine. We're gonna bring him back. He's trying to get this bunker. He's gonna. I mean, he's got his bunker. So, put that DND on. Don't want people trying to get this little probe dope, and he does get it. So good micro there. That means Gold SV is going to have to send out another probe. I bet he already has one coming. Maybe not. Looks like he's going to kill some SCVs here. That's one. I don't think he got two. Losing mining time here, though. Two, three. Uh, he didn't lose too much. It's more of just a, some mining time here. And now he's got his vulture, so now he's good. He's gonna be able to take down these these zealots pretty easily. I, now he sees the zealots, so he's just gonna micro these guys. He's gonna have two more, or one more vulture. So it's actually looking pretty good for Hydra. And now he he knows with three vultures, he can micro those. He thinks he's gonna be able to micro those against enough zealots, but. We'll see. He's getting his shots in. Getting his getting his game in there. You know, talking. Spitting some game. It would suck to be a Zot and this was get, happening to you. Like, this motherfucker. So this is what Protosses do. is they, They'll build these pylons here so the vultures can't get through. Which is good strategy. So he's going to probably start. He might be going for a Reaver. Or is he going to go for Dragoonies? Still microing. I think he might be able to get his vultures through this, but we'll see. He's getting mines upgraded. He went for the double command center. That's, that's Hydra doing his thing. No extra nexus here, but looks like, yeah. So he's going for a drop. Taking this out. He might go on the offensive here. So I think he's going to... Try to figure out where he's at. Two Dragoons, so... 
Gillespie's doing a pretty good job with Dragoons and then also getting a drop. That's going to be a little bit delayed. So tanks are going to be necessary here. He's getting more vultures and, and the mines are going to be huge. He's got to get these mines out. This could be bad for Hydra. Get the mines. Get the mines. They're almost done. He's trying to hide them. Hide his vultures. There you go. There's one. I think he'll be able to hold this, but we will see. He's got no marines in this bunker here. Does have the double comm set. Spreading. I think he might go for... He's trying to get these marines in here, but they're... They're getting kind of stuck, so using his SCV, so he'll be able to hold this off. And I think he's gonna have a tank soon. He saw that he needs to repair that. So doing a good job. Two tanks out, so that's huge. He's gonna need to micro these babies. Save this bunker. Doing a lot of mul uh, multitasking here. Microing here. He saved his his factory here. Saved his bunker, and now he has a ton of SCVs still. Well, he's got a triple command center, so he's looking like he's in a, a decent place now. So now he can hold against Dragoons, but the next thing is drops. Oh, Observer. wonder why he's getting an Observer. And there's the Goon range. wonder... Oh, Observer. Okay, yeah, obviously. Observer for the uh, spider mine, so we can see them. But yeah, that I don't think that Hydra's gonna have enough tanks. He needs to make a couple more tanks. I think he he thinks that his his uh, his mines are gonna be good enough, but this observer is just gonna. And with the no range, he needs to have range on his goons before he can start. Start attacking these because they get too close and they can't kill them in time. Did not know that, and now you know. He's got a tank right here. He's got one up here. See supply stack? No, I mean their their supply is pretty close. He's got seven dragoons. I think he can hold this with the tank. He's got some marines. I think he's got some marines in here. So I think he'll be able to hold this. And he's making two more tanks. So I think it's looking good for him. Oh, here comes this is the reaver though. This is going to be a close game. It's a close game. He's going to kill these for sure. Maybe not. I think what he might do is take his Dragoons, bring them up here, bring the Reaver, and try to drop. I don't see an Engineering. There's an Engineering Bay. So he's going to have to start kind of getting some defense back there. I don't think his concepts are going to be in time to, to scan the Reaver. The Reaver's done now, so... Picks it up, well aware of his timing, and now he's making, he's probably got zealot speed on the way, yeah, and now he's making a bunch of zealots, so this is going to be a tough attack to survive here. I like gold SCV strategy though. A lot of, he's going, for, Hydra going for a decent amount of barracks. Here's the reaver, I don't know if he's going to try to micro it, or is he going to slide it? It's not going to be good for these guys right here. They're going to get good micro on the Reaver. Tank might go down. Is he shooting at the, not shooting at the, the Reaver. I think this might be the GG here. Tank going to come out, but it's, I think it's going to get hit. Oh, nice spawn for the tank. He does have Marines here. I'm really bad at calling games, so. He does have three tanks, so I mean. He just needs to, to build more. He needs more buildings to make make more men because his base is just slowly getting decimated. And gold SCV is slowly just kind of getting bigger. So that Reaver is very annoying. Very annoying. But he has a decent amount of tanks. So with his tanks and uh, Marines, he might be able to... Uh, Ah, these zealots are going to be tough. He might be able to survive this. Looks like he's going to go for attack here. Maybe he'll... Oh, nice little scan. Taking out the observer. 
He might take this Reaver up to the corner and try to get his mineral. So we'll see what he does here on this. Good micro. He may have wanted to go for fire bats here, but still microing this this Reaver. He's got three tanks. He's repairing this sick repair right there. Saving his ass really good right there. So his base is progressing. I mean, but also Gold SCV's base is progressing. He needs to just kill this freaking Reaver. It's been is annoying the hell out of Hydra. Hydra could just get like five barracks up here. It would help him so much. Right now he's just nice. He might get this Reaver. Oh no. Gold, gold SV is too good. Gonna snipe that. Ooh, close but no cigar. Put some mines here. He knows that there's no observer. And he was able to comset or uh, yes, yeah, I think it's comset. He was able to comset those and uh, snipe out the observer, which is huge because then then your uh, then your mines actually work. And the mines are gonna they destroy when it comes to to zots. So let's see what he does here. Slowly building up his base, getting a little little defense here. Got. I would hope that he would make some medics. Here comes a temp drop. This is gonna be bad. Doesn't see it. Ooh, and it's a triple temper. Triple temper. That was huge. He still has the money though. So if he survives this, I'm I'm not worried that he's not gonna. Ah, eh, it's not looking good. That was a. 29 kills right there. That was a huge, huge temp drop. Good job by Gold SCV here. Well played. Well played. The the mid build didn't work, but he know he knew how to progress from it. Some people don't. They're not. They don't. They just go all out on the mid build. Here comes another temp drop with a tank. Not looking good. Yeah, tanking out or storming on the tankies. They're taking some heat. Literally. Yeah, and he only has five minerals. I'm guessing the GG's gonna get called soon. Gold SCV's base. I think Gold SCV's just gonna probably get up to like 160, 165 PSI, maybe 170, and then just try to finish it off. And I'm guessing he's getting no upgrades, so. Be sick if he came back, wouldn't it? If he did like a tank drop, oh, if he was, if he had the opportunity to, that'd be sick. Ooh, here comes a temp. Gotta move him, gotta move him, gotta move him. Oh, no, no temp in there though. So, losing his tanks here though. He needs them. He needs the tanks. Uh, I think he is, I just calling the, the GG here. The meh. The meh. I, think that, I don't even know what happened. But my racks was so late. It was late. Should have had mines way up earlier. Yeah. I don't know. It seemed like it was late too. That's what happens when you play against someone. Just as good. So we'll do another one. Uh, another TVP. But. That was a, a good way to defend a mid build with... A, with a, a mech strategy and that's against one of the best Koreans you're able to, to do that so we'll go with uh we'll go with this one see how this one pans out game number two two TVPs I like to see Hydra's turn I mean he's got a great turn and then gold SCV has a great Protoss so Oh, so it looks like he might have some bay, uh, spot abuse here. Get a little nuke, nuke, nuke. Another mid build. This is what Gold SCV does. And he sticks to it. I don't know if this game was right after, but I just know it was, I think it was from this season on SCW. He's got the triple gates. I think he'll send one Zod over here. I'll slow it down once these zealots come out. He's going for an early gas here, so yeah. So he's sending ones out here. Sarini's gonna see it, scout the middle, make him 
buy him a little time. Vultures should be coming out somewhat soon. This is an early zealot though. But the bunker is going to help. So he's going to probably wrap this guy around. Yeah, get him in the bunker. Save some SCVs. Yeah, so he killed one zealot. He's going to probably lose an SCV here. One SCV. That's not bad. There's a lot of zealots here though. So he's going to... I think he's going to stack here. That's what he kind of needs to do. And now that the vultures are out. So now that's huge. So now he knows he can micro his vultures and survive. But we'll see if... Oh, taking out some more SCVs. We'll see what gold SCV goes with. I mean, he's got the gas. He might go straight into a quick reaver drop. And he's got this blocked off, so his vultures can't run through. Ooh, I think he just got that pylon out just in time. He only needs to kill this one, so he might be able to kill this and then move out. Because he... And it looks like he... Oh, he does have three goons coming, so... Hydra might get a little offensive here, so we'll see. And I'm guessing spider mines will be coming somewhat soon. One thing is dragoons are really, really good against vultures. And they're out. Three, two, one. They're out. So he's killing this. Ah, uh, he might be walking into a little something he don't want to be walking into. Yeah, so he's going to get out of there. And he's still making vultures. And the mines are a little bit late. The goons are pretty pretty quick, so I think he might have to make another bunker to try to survive this. He does have six. He does have six vultures. I think he will be able to survive this though with his marine count. So he's just gonna have to take a dragoon out at a time. This dragoon's pretty low. Yeah, so I think he'll be able to handle this. Almost getting that one. We got three more Dragoons. This is going to be a good battle right here, though. I do think the Vultures are going to win this one. Yeah. And he's got the Mines. So that's that didn't work out as... And Golesi was going to make his Nexus here, but he realized mm, he can't do that. So he's got to make his Nexus here because of the spot abuse. I think Hydra might go out quickly. Um, so we'll see. Five gateways here. He's got seven dragoons. But these spider mines are gonna probably save the day if he needs it. Putting down the mines in front. Yeah, so that's gonna make sure that these dragoons can't even do anything. He might want to send like one zealot through and then it it'll make three of these go. But I don't think so. He's got the tanks. I mean, I think he's just going to be aggressive. He's no, he knows he's up just against Dragoons, so... Uh, he knows that he didn't really go for a, a quick Reaver, so he doesn't really have to worry too much about, about getting dropped. Here is the Robotics. So, moving out. He's probably going to put Spider Mines all over the place. So, how you doing a really good job here? He's trying to save that tank that's tough. Yeah, wasn't the best. Wasn't the best there. I'm guessing he has like five more Dragoons coming. But... Yeah, if he would have sieged up, that would have been a lot better for him. He's got three factories. He's got... He's got the spider mines just absolutely doing work out here. Killing the probe. So, I mean, these, these spider mines are huge. If you know how to use spider mines... I mean, they help you so much. And he's still kind of going on the offensive here. He knows he's up against only a decent amount of Dragoons. And looks like Gold has to be switching to uh, Zealots. Putting the mines here. I'm guessing an Observer is going to be... He didn't get an Observer. So he's going for the drop first. Which is a little risky. So going for the drop first. I don't know if that's the better idea. He may need to just cancel this and go for the Observer. Because these spider mines are just doing too much work. Going to take out some probes here. Oh, it put, puts the, the mines there. I don't think they they can explode. I wonder if you put a mine here and then you shot at it. And it, it would just blow up all of these. Doing a good job killing a lot of these probes here. So, I mean... 
his Hydra's SCV count is, and during that whole time, he, he made a triple command center. What a boss. So I think he might start putting, he, I think if he wants to play this safe, he can just start putting his tanks here and then slowly dropping them and just spot abuse. But I don't know if that's how Hydra likes to play. He is playing pretty aggressive here, so he's going to take out this middle build and then just slowly progress him here, so. Hydra doing a good job here. I think... Uh, here comes the Reaver. Oh, the Reaver's going to help Micro. I guess that's big. But he needs that Observer. So the Observer's coming. Is he getting range on it? No. But he's got two gates here. I think he's going to lose these gate gates. This guy's going to spawn, but he might get, get dropped. Yeah, he's gone. He's going to die too. No! Dead. Poor dude. Had no chance. Here comes a, a middle attack, a frontal attack. Decent amount of tanks. He's gonna. I think he has stem. Does he have stem? Uh. I think he might have to retreat here. Where'd that reaver drop? Yeah, he's gonna have to retreat here. He does have some defense for some turrets for reavers, and he's he's got wraiths, so he's gonna try to snipe this out. Let's see if he sees this. Ooh. He's got a reaver in his base, but he's going to be able to kill it. So. <laughs> it puts a mine next to the reaver. Just quick fingers right there. Quick fingers. So. 60 SCVs to 43 from gold SCV. It's looking a lot tougher for gold SCV. And especially with this spot. I'm surprised that Hydra doesn't go for go for that tank tank drops as much. I think he kind of forgot about this Wraith. But he's making another one. He has an upgrade on the way. Upgrade right there. I mean, his economy is boosting. Slash booming. But... Yeah, I, I'm wondering what Gold SCV... What his plan is, because it's not looking good for him. He knows he's in a, a bad spot, literally and um, figuratively, because obviously Hydra's just ahead of him in this game. So, no commsats. Here comes the Reaver drop around the corner. No speed. I'm guessing he's going to get speed just in time. But no way it's going to get through. It's got Marines over here. Hydra's just cranking it up. Doing a little defensive work. Yeah, I think he just wants to win this one for sure. So. He ain't playing games. But I think. Maybe. Okay, here's the comp set. Comes a drop. Yeah. Not going to work. Maybe he'll find a way through this way, but these guys will probably get him. These little boys. These little boy skis. Oh, the rates. Taking over. Good use of the rates there. Good use of the rates. Didn't. Oh, bat. As I say that. You should. You should have killed that Reaver. That was really bad. Really bad use right there. But I don't think he really cares. He's more about just trying to build his base. And I think if he wanted to, he could attack. When I say he, I'm, I'm talking about Hydra. His base is big enough. He's got the comp set so he can see the Dark Templars. The DTs. And he's got... Yeah, I guess he only has three factories. His gas is a bit low. But gas is a bit low. Here's the here's the op. So looks like he's gonna go for that nuke, which is spot abuse. But you gotta you gotta live with it, cause I mean he when he's in this position, it's not like gold SUV is gonna cut him any slack. It's just part of the map. So good job right here. Taking out some cannons. Sending out some 
SCVs to do some more build action over here. This is all safe and dandy over here. Just doesn't look good for SC gold SCV. And this is going to be done soon. It's probably going to get cloak real soon. Comes a drop. Is he going to get it? Good maneuver. He had a bunch of Marines here. I don't think it would hurt him as much either if he got dropped. But that was a nice attempt. I think he's just going to have to keep trying to drop him. If that doesn't work, it's just... It's not gonna it's not gonna work out. It's like a hinge date. It just ain't gonna work out for him. I just APM is slowed down drastically. Usually he's at two something. He's just worried about his base. Getting it bigger. Look at how big his base is. Must be American. Must be a goddamn American. Got that big old base. Is there a Templar in here? Here comes another drop that I'm missing. Oh, here it is. Temp, a little bit late. Is there one in there? No. Not going to lose anything there. So Hydra's getting the uh, ghost, whatever, where he, he, the ghost becomes invisible. Might get a, a drop ship. I think he's kind of just waiting. Um, he might just go for the attack now because... He knows he hasn't been dropped. He's got a decent sized base. And this is this is how you do it. I mean, here comes another drop. Stim in. Four Templars. So this will be if you can get these temps out. Uh nothing. Nothing. I don't think that would have made a difference though. That probably would have helped Hydra, because he's got 84 SCVs. So. Where, where is this zealot at? Okay. Getting the Nuka Duke. It's gonna kill this SC or er, this zealot, but see, see, when you're in this position, you want to kind of get a couple scouts because you kind of know you're gonna get nuked. So then you can try to find that ghost and snipe him out before he gets that nuke out. But looks like. Hydra's just gonna push right here. He's got a good spot middle base. It's gonna drop a lot of zealots and Templars here, but he has one upgrade on his attack. I don't think it's gonna do it though. I think this is the G. G, 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 G. TVP, another TVP one by Hydra. These Reavers aren't gonna do crap. And look at this little sneak around like a boss. I'm guessing he's getting the nuke too. No, he's not, but a little sneak around like a boss, take out some probodobes. What are you? He lost eight. Yeah, he lost eight, 13. This guy's gonna siege up. I don't think he's gonna make it though. But he's still got the whole front. And he's got two one upgrades, so yeah, it's just not looking good. Not looking good. I'm guessing the GG's gonna be called soon. He's probably getting a nuke now, yeah. Just as I said that. And then his Marines got one upgrade on attack, so. Nothing much. He just doesn't have enough gateways. Ah, uh, so get some DTs, that's gonna help though. No vessel. No vessel yet. So he's gonna, there's the GG. So, good game. We'll do one more TVP. Cause we'll see best of three out of this. I think I got one more. But that was a... I mean, that's just... Great play by Hydra. Great play. And Gold SCV, I think he'll... In the future, he'll... Maybe... Shy away from going against that... That mid build, because... He knows it doesn't work against... Hydra, and... It works against a lot of other players, but... It ain't gonna work against Hydra, even with his mech build. So I don't think this is I don't think this is the one we saw. Or is it? I think this is the one we saw. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me go to TVP one. That's the one we saw. My bad, guys. It happens. A human. Okay. I think this one we didn't see. We'll see. It's either this one or two. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. And it's the same one, so it's got to be two. Fuck. We'll see about that. Sorry, guys. I also do I downloaded it twice and named it. Same thing, I don't know. Alright, the last TVP. Yeah, I guess I just fuck I, I messed that up. Okay. So they're apparently the same game, so I guess I just saved it twice. So I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it, sorry. Ah no. You guys if you guys waited, I'll go through it. I'll go through one, one more gamey. Uh, we'll do a, a turn versus Zerg here. We'll do a short one. A shorty short. Guessing whoever's Terran's gonna win this one, but never know. You never know. Let's see how a Terran versus Zerg goes. So we got Hydra. Hydra top left on the Zerg. And we have white and black gold SCV on the turn. Turn that up. Probably gonna go for the standard Chokadoke. And I'm guessing the three three barracks are gonna come from gold SCV. So we'll speed it up, see what happens. There's the the second barracks. We'll see how risky Hydra plays this. Setting out the overlord in the middle, so he probably knows he's up against a Terran. He probably saw that. So, I think he, is he gonna, he's gonna quit gas, so. He's gonna have Zerglings on the way. Four of them. Sometimes the Terran will try to build a, a little bunker here, but. And that's what he's gonna do. So. That's a decent amount of Zergling, so I think he'll be able to take these out. He just needs to kill that. Kill that. Right there. It's gonna be done. He should have killed that. Oh, he did cancel it. Okay, I guess. Guess I was wrong. Going for quick speed, so. Looks like Hydra's gonna play this one aggressive. And how is. It looks like. <laughs> it looks like. Gold SCV is going to play this one not as aggressive. Make a couple more Marines. Now they know where each other is at. He's going to have speed soon. I don't know if he should have given it away. That he's attacking this much. Going to slow it on the factory. Because he's going to get fire bats. I'm guessing. Oh, no academy. So he's not going to get fire bats. That guy's fudged. So doing a pretty good job with his Zerglings, but he doesn't have that many hatcheries. He just has two. Gonna try to sneak these little guys in here. Not gonna do anything. I think Hydra should have... He could have kind of just laid back and wait for, waited for his speed. Because now, if Gold SV does see his Zerglings with speed, then he knows he that's what he went for. Here comes the Starport. That's what he always goes with. Gold SV that. But we'll see if Gold SV puts himself out here and a big flank from maybe the top and the bottom 
happens and that could that could end the game and a lair already done so he's probably gonna go for quick lurkers but he's going for the attack here Ooh, this is tough Ooh, he might have this here yeah these marines are fudged he's have to wear build a bunker not good little trick action by hydra here so good job oh, here's the the fire bats that's gonna be huge though once this bunker is is in place but I, I don't know if he's gonna get it off I think this might be the G oh he got it off he needs to get that guy in there rally is rally him in there he's got to save it he got one in there no he, he didn't get one in there he called the GG Wow good game good game and that's Hydra two to one on bad matchups so good games by him good games by him